Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your man Marcus and I am your digital pastor. Uh, I want to alert all WordPress.com users. Uh, if your site is on WordPress.com, I really need you to watch this video. Uh, if you know somebody whose site is on WordPress.com, I really need you to share this video with them so they can see it because they're really going to uh, get value out of uh, the information that I am about to share uh, with them. I am uh, reposting a video that I did uh, two years ago, but it's still very relevant today because a lot of people who are use WordPress.com do not know uh, of this particular feature, and they, uh, and unfortunately, because they don't know about it, they don't know how their website shows up on mobile. It doesn't show up the way that it's intended to, and I want to help you in this video uh, to be able to have your stuff show up the way that it needs to show up. I wanted to highlight a website of a friend of mine just for a moment. Uh, her website is uh, Friends of Ebony, Changing the Face of Philanthropy, friendsofebony.com. She's doing great work in the world, and the reason why I wanted to highlight her very quickly is because she uses WordPress.com uh, to host her website, and it shows up very good on desktop and you can see it also looks very good on mobile as well very consistent experience and uh, there's a reason why that is now for the reason why that is uh, let's go very quickly to my old website uh, this is the website that I used to have when um, I had my uh, site on WordPress.com. I have since uh, switched over to the self-hosted WordPress.org uh, for my site. But this is what my old site used to look like. And it shows up like this on desktop. But we live in a mobile-first mobile world. And so because of that, we have to be mindful of how our websites look on mobile. And so I just want to do a few things and show you a few things uh, to make sure that if you are using WordPress.com, things show up the way that they need to show up to highlight your website and make sure that it looks as good as it needs to look. Now, if we go to my old website, this is what it looks like on mobile. It looks just as good on mobile as it does on the desktop. And again, this is WordPress.com. And there's a reason why it looks as good on the desktop as it does on mobile. And this is why. Now if we switch to the back end of uh, my website and um, and we pull everything up, We're going to see this on the back end when we go to mobile options. Now we get to mobile options, and I'm doing this on, on my phone, obviously, but you can also uh, do these settings on your desktop. But uh, just for illustrative purposes, I've decided to uh, use my phone to do this. Now if you go over uh, in your menu, uh, when it says appearances, if you go all the way down to mobile, then uh, this is what's going to uh, come up for you. We go mobile, and it takes us to mobile options. Okay, uh, th this is very important. Anybody who uses WordPress.com, this is something I really need you to look at. It says, "Awesome, your theme standard is already deemed to be mobile friendly." Now, it's been my experience in the past that mobile. Uh, that when it says enable mobile theme that the default is that it is already enabled so as you can see it said no but we're gonna uh, enable it yes uh, just because uh, I, I want to illustrate what that's gonna look like when we uh, enable the mobile theme so now we're gonna come back over to we're gonna come back over to um, Come back over to the website 
on Chrome and we are going to take a look at what it's going to look like now. Okay? So as you can see, it no longer looks as good as it once did. This is the default uh, mobile offering that WordPress.org, uh, that WordPress.com gives you. And as you can see, you can't see my beautiful theme because I have enabled the default WordPress.com theme. We don't want to do that. So what we want to do is we want to come back in here to our back end controls and we want to enable the mobile theme. We want to turn that off. We, we don't want to enable the mobile theme because our theme, as you can see, again, standard is already deemed to be mobile friendly. OK, so once we turn enable mobile theme off, we just update. And we save that. And then we can go back to we can go back to our browser and then we can we can uh, update once again and then now again it'll show up as the way it is supposed to now a lot of people do not do this who use wordpress.com and so you are robbing your users of a good experience of the experience that they are supposed to have uh, once they go to your website because of, of the theme that you have picked out. They won't be able to see what theme you have and how beautiful it is uh, because uh, you have selected the WordPress.com default mobile theme and you don't want to do that. So you just want to make sure that everything is looking as good as it is supposed to look. And you do that by making sure that if you have a mobile responsive theme already, that you don't want that WordPress.com default theme to be chosen for uh, your website. You want your users to have a good experience and a seamless experience and a consistent experience Okay, so the reason why this was even a problem in the first place and the reason why uh, I even needed to make that video that you just saw is because uh, before uh, mobile optimization became uh, the norm rather than just the exception, uh, WordPress.com uh, gave a default uh, mobile theme option uh, for uh, the courtesy of its users so that its website could show up uh, in, in a mobile uh, friendly uh, in, a, in, a, in a mobile friendly um, way and so because of that uh, now that things have changed and uh, themes are beautiful now on, on just about all devices anything that's worth anything uh, looks good everywhere uh, that wordpress.com uh, default mobile theme uh, it looks antiquated now and it's not needed anymore but a lot of people don't know uh, that this is the, that this is the default for their website and a lot of people d don't know that their website shows up the way that it does and um, I just want to help people because if you're trying to reach anybody you know what I'm saying you want your stuff to look as good as possible right and so uh, I, I just want to make sure that you have this information so that you can make this change and so that you can uh, so your website can look as good as it needs to be because I am your digital pastor I'm here to lead you and to guide you uh, in this world of tech, in this world of, of digital ministry to help you do uh, what it is that you do better, to help you uh, preach the gospel of Jesus Christ better in uh, this mobile uh, environment, in this tech environment, uh, and to help you to run your business better uh, in, in, in this environment and, and to use these tools properly. And so I just pray that this is uh, helpful to you, that's a blessing to you, and uh, God bless.